Hi and welcome to markplex.com where we provide easy language tutorials to help you learn TradeStation easy language programming. I also occasionally create programs that uh, may be useful to you and this program builds on the work that we did in tutorial, uh, tutorial 13 and program 1 and uh, does have some subtle differences so I'll just uh, explain what it does. Uh, what we do is we analyze a, uh, a chart by finding significant pivot points using uh, the zigzag technique. And this zigzag is calculated pretty similar to the way that the trade station zigzag is also calculated. When we find a new pivot, what we do is we compare this pivot level with the levels already stored in a 500 element array. If that level is within a user-defined distance of an existing level stored in the array, then the significance index of the uh, element is increased by one, is incremented by one. If it is not within a user-defined proximity, then it is stored in the array as a new level. And the array goes through and fills up 500. If there are more than 500, what it starts doing is deleting the oldest and adding the newest. What we then do at the uh, the end of the chart is we go through and look at the maximum price being displayed on the uh, the chart here and the minimum and we go through and calculate which of the elements in the array are within those uh, constraints, those price constraints. We then sort that data uh, by the significance index first and then if there are several elements with the same significant index we sort them to make the uh, the most recent date come up on top and then we take the top uh, certain number of those levels and we display them and then once the program is run it's run so it, it will will basically stop running and if we want to rerun it then we just have to press control r and then the program will rerun so if we just go and look at the um, the inputs and it's a show me study incidentally. Um, I'll just go through and explain the various inputs. Okay so format analysis techniques and uh, double click here. The first one I think is fairly self-explanatory. This is the number of lines to show. It's actually the maximum number of lines because of course there may not be five lines depending on how much data you have loaded on the chart. The next one is the retrace percentage and this determines how much the price has to move for a new zigzag to be formed and uh, so the bigger that number the, the bigger the zigzags and uh, essentially you need to adjust that so that you're comfortable that the zigzags are uh, finding the most significant pivots. And then the combined value and this is the actual proximity that we need to be within an existing line for the significance index to be increased and uh, I've set it as a multiple of min move over price scale uh, of course you could just put whatever you like in there it just needs to be a number and then the final three are very uh, just really cosmetic the show zigzag set to true it will show the zigzag set to false it will not a zigzag color, the color of the zigzags, and the combined color, the color of the lines. That is a, a very quick overview uh, just to show you how it would work. If we went back in the chart and then press Control R, it will uh, go back and work out where the lines should be drawn, and we're right uh, to the uh, the right of the chart again. And um, this program is available for download for a nominal fee and uh, you can find it at markplex m a r k p l e x dot com just click on the uh, programs tab i hope you find it useful thank you